My aunt's father, Mr. Magid, worked at a glove company. And he went to my uncle and to my dad and said, we ought to start our own glove company. And they started with a little storefront in Chicago on North Avenue. And it started with like about 20 people. And now here we are, 700,000 square feet, over 500 employees here, and over 1,200 employees worldwide. My name is Harvey Cohn. I'm the president of Maggot Glove and Safety and we're a manufacturer, distributor, and importer of work gloves and other PPE safety equipment. With respect to manufacturing here in America, we all know it's not the 1950s anymore. To be a manufacturer and to be profitable, you gotta focus on what your sunk costs are. And for Magic Glove, a large portion of that is their energy costs. So you know what they're doing? focusing on solar. Maggie Glove, when he came to us and talking about solar, wanting to learn more, his main concern was, oh, how can we help offset our production and, and keep our factories in the U.S. and help lower their energy consumption, energy bills. And with the help of NECA contractor Continental Electric and IBEW Local 176, Magid is working on that rooftop solution across every one of its 700,000 square feet. Currently the largest rooftop solar array on a single roof in the Midwest. It's approximately three and a half megawatts of solar installed, a little over 10,000 modules, solar modules installed. And by the time it's up and operational, it'll offset the uh, energy use of this building by 100%. A lot of people are surprised to know that solar energy, for example, has reached this point now where it is cost effective and should be seriously considered. Imagine Glove, they've decided to put up an array of solar panels to provide the energy for their business. The new solar array is going to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by more than 2 million tons a year. In addition to that, it's equivalent of taking 400,000 cars off the highways in one year. Installing a solar array of this magnitude is no easy feat, even with solar being somewhat of a known commodity these days. It still must be done correctly, safely, and on schedule, irregardless if the electricity it produces doesn't seem dangerous. You want a, a good installation that's going to last for you know, 15, 20, 25 years. Nika wanted to make sure, and IBD wanted to make sure that we had our skilled tradesmen on this job. If you think about the, the enormity of this project, it was well over 15,000 man hours. This is something we put our energy and our effort to help put together. I think Magid uh, realizes the value of the NECA contractors and the IBW members. They know that they're fully trained and they have a very well-rounded education and they know that they're going to get their project done on time and with a quality installation. The thing that makes union workers better equipped for this type of work is the advanced training that we get. It's continuously changing. There's always new technologies coming out. We try to make sure that the apprentices get a well-rounded education and see all of these different types of facilities before they become journeymen. Magid chose to go the union route because um, we do know what we're doing. We get it done faster, safer, so in essence it's cheaper. You do it right the first time, you don't have to come back. We have over 500 employees and their families depend on this company being successful. So one of the things we always think about when we get into a project is will this be good for the company and will this be good for our employees? Having the solar array, because what it does is reduces our energy costs and therefore goes down to the bottom line, it does make us more competitive and that's one of the things that has helped the company grow over the years. Magid's invested a lot of money in this project, so it's nice to know that a company like this is going to maintain their business here in the U.S. I'd like to think that it's going to keep their business going for a long time. Yeah, this is definitely a huge step in solar for the Midwest, especially after this one. It's kind of, you know, the stepping stone for it. Everybody should be proud of Magid and the other companies going together to put this on for taking the risk to do it, because this is, I mean, this is the future of energy. I'm proud to be here starting it 
and it's cool to be kind of part of the pioneer of stepping out of the box with these companies, putting it all together, and then being able to say that's, that's helping the environment. That's all for this edition. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information. From Chicago, I'm Dominic Giratano. See you next time.